Guy turns up with this four horsepower, even rude outboard. He said, I know you like to waffle. Have a waffle with this. Crafty devil. What he meant was, can I fix his broken outboard? <laughs> ah dear, I'll forgive you Dave, don't worry, you'll be watching this. They're all called Dave Demi Club by the way. It's very confusing, because you never know which one you're talking about. <laughs> A bit like in Wales where they're all called Jones, you know, it's Jones the Milk and Jones the Post and Jones the Farmer, you know. Anyway, he said uh, it starts and it runs fine. It's a two-cylinder horse, uh, two-cylinder, four horsepower, two-stroke. That's quite a nice little, quite a nice little engine, as far as I can see. Anyway, he says it starts and runs fine. So if it runs fine, it runs fine. I'm not gonna. Uh, if it ain't broke, I ain't gonna repair it. But he says what happens is it won't go in gear. There's a little lever on the side here. Let's see if I can zoom in. Ah yes, just about, up a bit. That'll do. There's a little lever on the side here with an arrow. It says forward and then there's a circle. And there's only that one click position. So there's no reverse, it's just drive or no drive. And uh, there's no hole in the leg for any rod adjustment for gears. So, pulled it over a few times and the propeller tries to go around a bit but there was no drive so I suspected we got problems with the gearbox um, so we'll have a look in the bottom first okay then well a bit further on I've put the outboard on the bench and I've turned it this way up saved me having to drain the oil from the gearbox and took the split pin off the propeller and underneath the propeller there's a little slot and there there was a, a shear pin so we put that somewhere safe and then I undid the two bolts that hold down the bearing housing on the top there and then withdrew the shaft and its main drive wheel the little pinion or planetary wheel that comes down there was equally as clean as that. Um, and then I realised how the thing worked. This actual wheel on here, on the shaft, just simply rotates on the shaft and imparts no drive to the shaft whatsoever. But it sits within a spring. And this spring has got a little tab out. And as a little bar comes down here that, engage, that goes down past the, that piece, and depending on the rotation of the uh, of the spring to the drive, it either bites or doesn't bite. Our best way of describing that is uh, well, it's a form of clutch. The best way of describing it is the uh, Chinese finger puzzles, where you put your fingers in a raffery type of thing, and if you try and pull them out, that grabs your finger tighter and tighter. And the only way it's loosening it is to go the opposite direction, and that's that principle. Anyway, I needn't have worried about oil coming out of the gearbox. There wasn't a drop in it. Now, when I say dry, I really, really mean dry. There was no evidence of the slightest smear. I'll put some in now, and um, this now works as it should. So the whole thing appears to be lack of oil. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? So we'll reassemble that and uh, I'll lay you nine to one. That's, uh, that's a fix-it job. More in a moment. OK, well, I've reassembled it. Very simple job. And uh, now it works absolutely fine. It's in no drive at the moment. If I pull the thing over, the propeller does one turn, but that's about it. If I just click it into drive, as you can see, we now have full drive. So, uh, a very simple fix. So there they are, Dave. Didn't go because you didn't have any oil in it. So, once a year, put some oil in it. Um, it was, I put in, what did I put in? 
EP140, um, I think. So you owe me a small bottle of EP140. And how about a nice bottle of red to keep it company? Ha <laughs> ha! Now this is officially on YouTube, so you've got to run it. Okay, um, while I'm on the subject of low oil, I was once given a, a generator, a 110 and a 240 volt generator, a real nice one, that had no spark. And uh, he was, the guy who originally had it was quoted 140 quid for a new CDI unit. And there was no spark. And I couldn't understand why this was. So I was two days of work on it. And uh, it transpired that that was lack of oil. And when I tied the gut, told the guy, he didn't believe me. He said, well, low, low, I said, it's low oil. He says, well, low oil wouldn't stop the thing from working, wouldn't cause it to have no spark as it did. I says, inside the sump, and it took me two days to find this out, there was a little float that operated a switch. And the whole idea being that the, uh, when the oil got to a dangerous level, this switch would uh, close, uh, would close the switch, would close, and uh, would send a signal to the CDI unit and shut the unit down. The idea being that you couldn't run the engine with no oil in it. It was a safety device. The guy weren't too happy about that. <laughs> it was two days work though. Um, but who'd have thought it? So never, never dismiss the obvious. Anyway, there's a quick one. You brought it in this morning. You can collect it tonight, Dave. Bye for now.